hey guys so welcome back to my channel guys so in today's video we are actually going to be doing my part two series of my rental bathroom makeover if you're new here my name is imani i do things all home decor home inspiration and home makeovers and if you like that kind of content do not forget to subscribe before you leave out and if you're a returning subscriber then hey y'all welcome back to my channel guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video painter's tape epoxy spray paint contact paper plastic drop cloth scissors starting off the first thing i wanted to do was go ahead and replace my faucet and the reason i replaced it because my oven was very outdated and it was just very big and bulky and i figured if i'm going to do new countertops and make them look very new or modern i might as well do the faucet over too as well and i'm going to show you guys the faucet that i end up getting in the next clip these are the holes that it's going to go in and also guys all the bathrooms are basically the same size so any faucet you get will fit this is the faucet that I end up going with you guys and I end up getting this faucet from Amazon and I purchased it for about $35. I just love the elegant look that this faucet has and the handles are very beautiful as well. And I definitely love the curb. It just looks so beautiful and elegant. And we're going to go ahead and install this inside of my sink and just upgrade the sink area. I think it's going to look very beautiful. So we officially put the new faucet inside of the sink. It looks so much better just already, y'all. Look at the handles. I just love this. It just looks so good. I'm super excited. I'm going to show y'all how the old one look. Is y'all ready for this? This is how the old faucet looked, guys. As you can see, it was super bulky, very outdated, and definitely can use a upgrade. So I just want to show you guys how the old one looks. And I'm just so glad I replaced it because it was inexpensive, and it's definitely a good way to upgrade your space on a budget just the small things so right here tape is actually being put around the faucet for extra protection once we apply the epoxy appliances spray paint Right here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this plastic and I'm going to put the plastic around my new faucet that I had got from Amazon just to protect it from the spray paint once I start to apply it. And I'm just going to take it and just put some tape on it and then just try to fill any holes or gaps or anything. Okay, y'all, so we're going to take the plastic right here. I'm going to put this plastic probably like on my wall right here and like right here cover up my cabinet and cover up my toilet so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and then start like protecting the stuff around because I was told that the spray paint tends to get everywhere um when you're doing like the counters and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping everything around just so we can kind of protect the area of everything else in the bathroom
and this is how everything will look once I covered everything up and protected all the other appliances inside my bathroom. I put a little bit on the floor right there next to the door just for the overflow of the spray paint and yeah so that's pretty much all you gotta do and just protect just like the main stuff like around the sink above the sink and like on the side of the sink wall and yeah i just wanted to show you guys also guys you're going to need a mask for this project too as well just to protect your nose and your mouth and be in a well ventilated area and also do not forget to open your bathroom windows and this is the rustoleum appliance epoxy spray paint that we're going to be using for the counters today in the color white and i got it from amazon for about four dollars so before i get started i'm just going to shake the can for about a minute and then I'm going to start to apply the spray paint onto my countertops. And guys, also when you do this, make sure that you are keeping the same stroke because you want the spray paint to come out evenly so it can look a lot better and a lot more professional. So while the countertops is actually drying, we're actually going to go ahead and start to redo my cabinet sink over. I'm just showing you guys exactly how it looks before. It is just like a wood grain old fashioned like cabinet and we're going to upgrade it today. I'm super excited to do this, especially in the black because you guys know that I love black and I just think it's so chic and so elegant at the same time and just very timeless. And then also guys, we're going to also change those knobs out too as well. Not sure what kind of knobs I want to do, but this is just a close-up of how it looks.
wanted to show you guys exactly what I did for as knobs for the bathroom cabinets. So I have these old knobs right here that came off my dresser in my bedroom. And what I did was I ended up spray painting them white. And these are the ones that I ended up spray painting white. Because I just couldn't figure out which ones I wanted to do. But then I was like, ha, let me go ahead and spray paint these white. Because I had plenty of them, so I ended up spray painting them white. And then I end up coming up with these. And these are actually the old knobs that was in there. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put these knobs onto the cabinet. for $22. I thought this mirror was a great touch to the new bathroom sink and the new cabinet. I think it looks very glam and just very nice but simple and elegant. So that's where I got the mirror from and then these are the same frames that I've been having and I just printed some quotes out from Google and then I just printed them and then I just put them in the frame using the same frames that I've been had. And I'm just going to put these frames up here on the side. I think they really look really good right here. Then I'm going to take my hand towel and put it right here on the side. And then put my black and white washcloth on top of it. Okay guys, so I loved how everything turned out. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. The countertops turned out so well. They look so much better. And you can definitely tell the difference between that cream color and that white color, because that white is just a whole vibe. And it just really brightens up the space as well. And I just love how it looks now. mirror I end up getting from Big Lots and I just end up printing out some bathroom quotes from Google and I put them in these frames.
towel hook I got from Lowe's and again the faucet came from Amazon and the faucet was only $35 and it's so gorgeous It made a huge difference. And like I said, the mirror came from Big Lots. I hope you all enjoyed the bathroom transformation. It looks very, very beautiful. Definitely a upgrade for sure. It looks very nice and again, it is inexpensive and on a budget. If you have any project in your house and it's just not satisfying to you and it just don't make you smile every time you look at it, please upgrade it because you will not regret it. Like rental or not, you guys, you can live in a rental or a house. Some of these houses and bathrooms don't even be looking good like that and they own it now you know what i'm saying and like some of these rentals you look at these rentals these girls be out here want their rentals to look nice whether they own it or not and i'm that girl okay so um if it doesn't please you if it doesn't make you happy and if it just don't serve you upgrade it and then when you can do it on a budget and inexpensive it just makes things so much better like so guys i would say go for what you want in life Go for whatever your little heart desires because in the end, if you don't, you're going to regret it. Make your space the way that you want to make your space because at the end of the day, y'all, we have to live in our houses, live in our apartments, and if we don't like what we see, then we have the choice to make a difference. And I just want to encourage everybody to just upgrade your space if you can. And like I said, that's why I try to bring you guys these budget-friendly rental apartments because I know a lot of my females out there probably renting right now um and I just want to show you guys that you can do anything you put your mind to and you can upgrade any little space in your apartment or house it doesn't matter and just make it the way that you want to make it create the life that you want to live and create the space that you want to live in so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I love you guys and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.